welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video now as you may or may not know or may or may not be able to tell i really like squishmallows i don't know if you could tell it's kind of like like a niche thing that i'm into like it's not obvious whatsoever squishmallows if you don't know are a very popular type of plushie that you can see all around me back here and they have been taking the world by storm but as with any physical object that becomes popular you know like designer purses pokemon cards anything of that like there are usually fakes out and about there are companies who try to piggyback on the success of the original product of course and they try to make a fake pass it off as the real one hopefully fool people into buying their fake and then they make the money using the branding of the real one to promote their fake one i'm sure you guys know what fakes are um with the squishmallow there are quite a few fakes floating around sometimes people get fooled by them because they're pretty close and sometimes they are horribly bad so bad so i thought it would be fun to order a few fakes and see what all the hype is about well not really there's not there's not really hype <laughs> i just thought it would be fun to compare and contrast some fake squishmallows to real squishmallows because you know you never want to order a fake yourself but you know what it's okay i'll be your guinea pig you can just watch this video all right this video is also a little collab with tiger so we'll talk about her video once we're done with the unboxing but for now i'm going to toss you over to technically past me who recorded some online shopping off of Amazon. I did get all of these squishmallows off of Amazon. It just, I feel like I mostly see the most amount of fake squish there. And at least I felt kind of safe buying off of Amazon because their customer support is usually pretty good about, you know, like returns or like complaints or anything like that. As opposed to some shady, sketchy, random website that steals all your credit card information. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so we're here on Amazon.com. We're going to try and find some fake squishmallows. So I'm just going to start looking up squishy plush pillow, maybe? Maybe that will bring some stuff up. Oh, yeah, there's a fake. See? Cute, squishy, triceratops, dinosaur, stuffed animal, super soft pillow. Plush. Pillow doll for boys and girls. Usually a fake squishmallow will not have the actual name squishmallow in the title because that can get them in trouble more. Um, I am not really interested in that one though. Let's see. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. That is actually adorable. Here's a fake one. <laughs> oh my goodness. This one's, uh, this one's a little bit scary. I don't know. Something about the colors. Oh, interesting. Ooh, look at this purple mushroom. <gasps> what a Malcolm ripoff. The mouth is so cute though. <gasps> There's a blue one with a belly. Okay. I think we need to get this one. Okay, let's keep looking. Here's another Connor uh, fake one. See, no Squishmallow in the title. Oh, this is cute. There's so many other cute plushies. I know I'm kind of like glossing over them, but there's so many other cute ones. Oh my goodness, look at Kirby. I'm trying to not look at them too much because otherwise I'm going to want to buy them and that's not going to be <laughs> good. Here is a dinosaur one. I see this one a lot on Amazon for some reason. Uh, ooh, they've got some other ones. <gasps> Blue frog and he's mad. Oh my goodness. I, I have to get it. This listing has so many funny ones. There's this little axolotl. There's a frog. He sold out. Uh, that looks pretty close, honestly. And then there's like a pink dinosaur. That's really cute. Maybe there's some ones down here. Ooh, uh, a cute little like Archie. It comes in blue and in pink and it has a little crown. This one's actually really cute. <laughs> I'm gonna add this one too. Oh my goodness, we're getting so many blue ones. I don't know what the theme is, why th the theme is blue. It's another blue one. The arms are abnormally long. They look like little dolphin flippers <laughs> actually. Oh my goodness, this one is terrifying. <gasps> this is supposed to be like Simon the Sloth. I, this one is so scary for some reason. It also comes in blue. Oh goodness, here's another terrifying looking fake cat. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this one a lot too. This one's just scary. Ah, there's something so unsettling about it. I don't know. Interesting. Now we're straying a little bit away from the uh, Squishmallow aesthetic. I mean, it's still clearly a ripoff, but those eyes, <laughs> those unsettling eyes. <laughs> Here we go. This is supposed to be a ripoff of like the Hot Topic one. Not nearly as cute. I don't know why. Just It's just so off. Like no no thank you oh my goodness look at him <laughs> why are his arms all the way up there are you, they look like little antennas my dude <laughs> okay so for this one i'm cheating a little bit i did find the link to this posted in like a group somewhere 
Um, but somebody posted this, and this one's actually pretty cute. They have a blueberry one and this terrifying one, but this style is like pretty close to a squishmallow, and I like the blueberries. And once again, another blue squishmallow. I don't know what's with all the blue. Here's another ripoff Hot Topic strawberry cow or box lunch, I forget. This one looks a lot cuter than that other one we saw. I would actually maybe get that one, um, but I actually already have her pre-ordered. She's just coming a lot later. But I did want to also mention there are legit squishmallows on Amazon. I'm just making an effort to go for the fakes, but like this one is legit. Um, this one is legit. This one's not legit. doesn't say Squishmallow. This one's legit. Sometimes they might be a little more expensive on Amazon just because anyone can sell them or resell them, but there are legit ones. So just be careful. Keep an eye out. Oh my goodness. Squishmallow should actually make a spooky cow like this. I feel like people would absolutely love it. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's actually pretty creative. You know what? I gotta give this one props. This one's really creative. Okay, but I'm also gonna cheat a little bit again. I don't have the exact link for it, but one of my friends sent me this knockoff Squishmallow, like a screenshot of it, and the title was like, Strawberry Frog Flush something. So we're gonna see if we can find that knockoff of the Strawberry Frog. There it is, there it is. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It is hilarious. She's just hilarious. I think I'm going to get this one. Okay, so I think that's going to do it. Um, this is getting expensive very quickly, but here's our blue lineup and our one strawberry frog of knockoff squishmallows. I'm going to go ahead and check out with these, wait till we get them, and we're just going to see what they're like. So our packages have come in. They are only in two packages, two boxes. One is a bubble mailer. What the heck is going on? I'm concerned. There's supposed to be five plushies in here. So I think the first one we're going to go with is the flat bubble mailer because I'm like, how the heck is there a plushie in here? I mean, I think I know. I think I know. And I'm so excited <laughs> because I just know it's vacuum sealed in here. That's the only possible way unless they literally just sent me like the skin of a Squishmallow. It's actually been a little bit since I recorded like me shopping for them and since they've come in. So I don't know which ones are in which package and I kind of don't really remember which ones I ordered. So we're just gonna have to open it up, see what's what. I already know it's vacuum sealed. Hold on, let's not expose my address. Oh goodness. <laughs> Miss girl is flat as a pancake. Oh wow, okay. So this is an Adabel fake. I do not own the real one of this, so I won't be able to effectively compare and contrast. But hey, maybe it's a good substitute until I finally get the real one, which is probably never. Okay, we got some air hissing out. This is very nicely vacuum sealed. Honestly, on first glance, this really looks like the actual thing. Ooh, she's fluffing up. <laughs> okay, she kind of stopped fluffing up. Oh no. Okay. All right. I can't even describe how, like, not fluffed up she is. Like... Her bottom, her bottom is supposed to be like, you know, so you can rest her on top of it. Okay. We're going to give her a little bit of just aggression, you know? This doesn't feel exactly like Squishmallow material, like the fabric, but it feels pretty close. This is really soft. And honestly, for this being a fake, I'm trying to fix her eye. <laughs> She's pretty good. Like the details are pretty pretty good the only thing is if you can compare her to my actual frogs in the back her eyes are a little bit kind of like Sid the sloth from uh <laughs> ice age one of my friends actually sent this listing to me and made that comparison and it made me die um stuffing wise maybe it's because she was vacuum sealed but she's a little flat she's a little like okay that's it. You need a little more meat on your bones, Miss Girl. You could probably put some more stuffing in her and she would be really nice. So that one, honestly, four out of five. Like, I might just be happy just having this one and never having the real one. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. I won't stop until I get the real one. Okay, so let's move on to the box. I think it's going to be sort of a similar situation in here. Just like a bunch of vacuum flat squishmallows. Here's our first one in the box. This is like the little axolotl. Let's open it up. Ooh, actually, I don't need to use scissors. There's a little tab. Okay, so a little squished, a little squished. We have a situation. <laughs> we have a situation in the back. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, this is, uh, this feels wrong. This feels extremely wrong. What am I, what is, what am I doing? Oh, uh, okay. 
fixed. That is very, there is no stuffing in here. There is no stuffing. Just gonna kind of like finagle it a little bit, spread out some of that stuffing. This also feels wrong. Okay, so I did the best that I could. Um, we still got some, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> the fins, yes, they are smushed. It does not look like an axolotl. The crown also fell off a little bit. You were dethroned, sorry. Someone's taking your place as king of the fake axolotl squishmallows. I'm trying my best here. I'm trying my best for you, for you. And you know what? If this was the actual Squishmallows company, then this one, this one is named Archie because they just name all the axolotls Archie and they don't care about making new names. So this one, the fins, not Squishmallow quality. This is like, this is bad. You see that like differently colored like seam there? Yeah, that's like rough feeling. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't feel nice. The crown, honestly, about the quality I'd expect from an actual Squishmallows plushie. They're just a little wrinkly um, from being vacuum sealed and stuff like that. So I try not to, you know, take away credit because of the shape or the wrinkles. The tail, I feel like, is definitely really awkward. Let me go get an actual Axolotl Squishmallow to compare because this doesn't feel right. Okay, so here's our fake. And here's my actual Squishmallow Axolotl Archie. So you can see... You can see the difference in the fins. I mean, these are like flat and like barely, well, cause they were squished, but these are like flat, right? And then these are actual like 3D pieces. If it'll focus, these are like actual little 3D pieces. This one is different because they're like fuzzy. Usually they're a little more thicker than this, but yeah. And then the thing I was concerned about, tail size. <laughs> Okay, so here's actual Archie. This one is also like slightly lopsided, I won't lie. And then there's this one. So there's definitely a difference in the size and kind of like the construction. This feels like a snake. This feels like a snake. Like what is this? What is this like bulging voluminous like tail here? This feels wrong and weird. So yeah, here's the comparison. Oh, also the mouth is another thing I didn't even mention. This has a regular smile mouth, which is pretty, you know, common of Squishmallows. It's a little bit bigger than the actual mouths that they'll put, as you can see by some of mine in the background. Um, but the signature axolotl mouth is this little curved like three turned upside down sort of mouth and it's missing that. So that makes it feel much more like a fake, which like, I'm not gonna critique a fake on like design because like it's a fake. But this one, I'm giving this one a two out of five. Like, don't buy this one. If you really wanna get a fake, honestly, this one has been the best one so far, but we'll see, We're we'll get there. <laughs> okay, now I remember, like all of the Squishmallows that I ordered, except for the frog one, were like blue Squishmallows for some reason. I have so many blues. Okay, next, <laughs> yeah. This one is also extremely, oh. Oh. I'm very confused. Okay, I was saying this one's also extremely flat and then I see like this green around the sides and I turn it over. What? Wait, is this like a two pack? What's going on here? Or is this? <gasps> no way. This is a double sided Squishmallow? Fake? Squishmallows don't sue me. These are, these are fakes. <laughs> Wait a second, what? Okay, I thought it I thought they just put two in there and it was like a two-pack. This is a double-sided baby. This is so fun. Okay, okay. This is a really cool concept. I do I have to give it to them. I have to give it to them. Squishmallows has not done this yet. They have okay, to be fair, they have the flip mellows, but those have like the hole here and you have to like flip them like that. Um, so this is different. This is like, they're actually like sewn together. This is, this is so cool. Okay. <laughs> well, as you can see, compared to my frogs in the background, this one is, this one's a little interesting. You know, her eyes are a little interesting, but the mouth, the mouth shape and stuff like that is pretty on point, but I can't get over this. Like what? Double-sided squish <laughs> This is like those octopus plushies where you like have the happy side and the sad side, but it's a squishmallow frog. This is hilarious. I might just use this as like a, a sign to my boyfriend. I'll, I'll flip it this way if I'm upset and I'll flip it this way if I'm happy. That is hilarious. Okay, po brownie points for creativity. I don't know if I even, I don't think I noticed this at all on the listing. How did I not notice that it was like a two-sided? What the heck? 
I mean, all of the seams and everything are, are pretty good. The material, I think all of these fakes use the same like material, which is not the same as regular Squishmallows, but it feels really, really close. I would say the one that feels the most off. I don't know, they all kind of feel the same. Anyways, that is the third Squishmallow, fake Squishmallow. I think this was my favorite so far. I might have to put this one in the top spot when it comes to fake ranking. I don't know. It's a five out of five for me. It's a five out of five. Next, we have one that it's very interesting. Once again, a, a blue one. This is like a little mushroom. I think there is a blue one that looks similar to this named Sydney. Could be wrong. And it has like a little flower on it or something. I can't remember exactly. I think it's more teal than this, but this one has no flower. And this one is different. So <laughs> once again, <laughs> No booty, no girth. She is not thick. They might inflate a little bit more as, you know, they're out of the vacuum ceiling. They're probably in there for a long time. Um, I'm gonna try my best to fluff them up. I feel like the shape on this is really funny. Um, I, oh, what is this? So we have some sort of defect back here. I don't know what that is. It looks like a string, but I can't get it off. Sorry, it looks like a rip, but I can't get it off. Or like it doesn't open i don't know the white stuff is just like more fabric i don't really know what that is so i'm gonna take a point off for that for a defect but uh this one has the axolotl mouth that i was talking about that the real axolotl squishmallows do but the fake axolotl squishmallow does not so why does oh, their mouths are swapped basically <laughs> it's got the shape kind of i don't think i don't think the actual mushrooms go in this much and his head feels a little a little big a little bulbous just a lot of girth on, on the head there but i like the color props to the color you know they they tried this is whatever it's a three out of five for me i don't know why i just i just felt like doing that the last one and the one that i was most excited for when i was ordering these is this cow she is so squished oh my goodness we need to free her i was really excited for this one because it had some embroidery this is like a little blueberry cow and i don't think correct me if i'm wrong i don't think that squishmallows actual squishmallows has made a blueberry cow like this or a blue cow well there's balana but not like this you know i thought this one looked really nice in the listing pictures and was a very unique flat okay this is this is an issue <laughs> i don't think okay annabelle was the first one we unboxed she has inflated slightly maybe i don't know if that was me fluffing her up this is pretty bad <laughs> like this is my actual squishmallow and even this one i feel like is kind of flat so uh yeah we need to get past the flatness so let me let me try helping her out a little bit maybe she just needs some assistance you know oh goodness i just gave her oh i just gave her a, a thick one Oh goodness. So ignoring kind of like her flatness a little bit um, and her shape because she just needs like more stuffing or to like inflate a little more. I think she's so cute. I think she's so adorable. Like she's pretty close to a Squishmallow cow. She has a little bit of forehead, but that's okay. Um, the spots, cute. The blueberry is cute, adorable. The dark blue horns, adorable. This one is so cute. She just has like a little regular tail. I think this one's so unique. So there are all the fakes that I ordered. Didn't want to order too many because, you know, I, I don't think it was necessary. But, you know, I got to give props for creativity where it's due. This one, very cute. Double-sided frog, very cute. Now I want to do this to like some of my Squishmallows. Like this is a really cute custom idea. This one's whatever. It's very small compared to like the other ones very small this one i hated the most and this one once again another one that like if she was just inflated a little more or like had more stuffing i feel like she would be really good but overall is pretty decent let me know which one was your favorite and like i was saying earlier this is like a little collab with tiger so she's also made a video unboxing some fake squishmallows that she bought so if you want to see even more fake squishmallows head on over to her video i would very much appreciate it so i will link her video down below go check it out for more squishmallow shenanigans and if you like squishmallows and animal crossing i would love for you to subscribe to the channel because i love both of those things too and i post videos of squishmallow hunting squishmallow collection videos animal crossing let's play speed builds all sorts of inspo so i would love to have you here on the channel if you're not subscribed already 
hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Let me know if you want to see a part two, maybe. I could buy more, I guess. <laughs> see what's out there. I could buy some of the very, very terrible fakes. I feel like we got pretty lucky with this batch. This was the worst one. <laughs> so thank you so much again for watching. Let me know if you want to see a part two, and I will see you in the next one.